Hello and welcome to my channel, Solving Shaw. And in this video, I will be talking about perfectionism and how we can move through it and just someone watch this video and just know that you're not the only one and just feel seen and heard and I'm going to talk through my experience and how I get myself out of it and we'll see what comes out. Yeah, so perfectionism is something that I have always struggled with. Um, feeling the need to be perfect at everything in every aspect of my life. It kind of comes down to control and um, controlling things and feeling like we need to look perfect. For me, I feel like I need to look perfect, but in a way, I'm coming out of it, but in a way that's linked to self-worth issues, like not feeling good enough, looking no matter what photo I see of myself, thinking that I look horrible. Now, I have already, the irony is, um, and I'm just sharing this because this is the video. <laughs> I filmed a video about perfectionism and because I do graphic design, because I've come from a design background and my uni course was like creative direction photography and like all of the creative things, I was like, the lighting is not good. I'm saying like too many times. I, you know, it's not aesthetically pleasing. I look weird and just, ugh. Like, of course, discernment is good, but when it is keeping us controlled and not letting us step forward, it's like this invisible brick wall in front of us. And, but it's our self that has built it. And for me, I have always felt unworthy. And this is just what I have grown up with. Like my, everything that has happened in my life and maybe school things and feeling like I needed to be perfect and look a certain way but then even then when I would look a certain way people would put me down and say that like I didn't have oh if you've got looks then you won't have this it's like I'm never, it's just this feeling of never really feeling good enough in the world and I don't know if anyone else feels like this but this is something that has happened to me and I put this goddess crown I want to call it headband crown on so I just feel I just feel empowered to do this video because I think in some videos that I filmed I it's out of force and I just felt in flow today and I was like I really want to film a video like I just I'm in a creative flow and yeah so the self-worth um, and that is the solar in terms of the chakras the solar plexus which is the yellow chakra just above the belly button and also the heart chakra I mean if you've been hurt in romantic relationships like me you will probably feel this immense pressure to look a certain way of course social media has a effect on all of this looking at people online um, and just being mindful that it's all fake uh, kind of fake and it's all like it's all aesthetic and picked through and unfollowing accounts that don't serve you like like perfect looking bloggers but if you feel inspired by them carry on following them there's loads of like self-worth um instagram bloggers out there that show themselves pose and then them kind of like lent over like the contrast of how instagram can be fake but this perfectionism has spiraled through my life my whole entire life like doing graphic design is i feel like i've got to be so particular about everything that I do in the graphic design and got to notice everything so when looking in the mirror I notice everything like I notice like a tiny wrinkle at the moment I've got this like melasma stuff that I'm trying to get rid of um and really yeah it's it's just and then it going into our work and not wanting to do things because we don't have the perfect equipment like right now I'm filming on my phone I actually am testing it over the camera because I feel like I'm just gonna see the phone it's easier because my camera dies super quick and I'm I got the camera because I wanted to be perfect and I wanted it to be look professional but 
when is this perfectionism holding us back? Like, is this need to be perfect stopping us from stepping into what we want to do? So I want you to journal. Why do I feel the need to be perfect? Write this down now, come back to it later. What has happened in my life to make me feel this way? Do I self-sabotage? Do I find ways to distract myself from the path I'm supposed to take? For me, I've been trying to film videos, edit videos, get them online, put Instagram videos out there. I filmed a bunch and every time I was supposed to go and edit them, I just distract myself. I procrastinate because I'm really scared of actually showing myself on Instagram truly for who I am because of what people will think and wanting to have this perception at me in the back of my mind, my subconscious wanting to well, want people to see me a certain way and that is controlled and when I let down this control and just truly be me is when the beauty and people resonate to people don't resonate to perfect people resonate to authentic people resonate to honest and I don't think there's enough honest creatives and content creators and youtubers out there so being your true self expressing that into the world you might want to start a business and you might be there you oh i don't have this i don't have this qualification i don't have this i don't have this just give it a go just start start something new and just let it flow now for me the self-love again the self-love and the abandonment, my core, my core wounds have come from this life and have come from many past lives. And I'm healing that in, in this life. I'm going through it. There are things that will pop up. There are things that will trigger you. But really to get over this, to climb this wall and to knock down the wall we need to say thank you to what we have. Have gratitude, be playful, take the serious out of whatever you are trying to do, where the perfectionism is showing up, because when we are in play, we are just having fun. We are just being ourselves. So bringing play into every element of your life right now will help you release this perfectionism. You might be watching this, you might be thinking, I lack self-worth or whatever like that. Don't shame yourself because we all are on this path of enlightenment and self-development. And each day there might be a new thing, but just know that where you are going is better than anything else. And if you are at bottom, the only way is up. And I trust me, I've been there. This perfectionism might come down to finding relationships and it being based on looks, it being based on lust, it being maybe shallow, superficial, even though subconsciously you may not realize this is what you do. Uh, I know in the past I definitely have, so I've been there. And loving them, loving, and also loving them for their potential. Now, I know we're getting into relationships right now, but I feel like the perfectionism and the self-worth can span out into so many different areas of our lives. And also, feeling the need for your life to look perfect for other people so that other people also comes into it the perception of what other people think of you thinking what will look good rather than what do you want to do for example you might go to uni you might do medicine uh, or you might want to because your family will want you to do that because that will look good on paper right and it will make you look good and you'll get money for it but do you truly desire that does it excite you do you have a real interest in that or are you just doing it for other reasons so family dynamics are also quite hard in this perfectionism um depends how you've grown up for example my i've had comments to me in the past that have been like you're you're a skeleton you know you haven't got any boobs like my ex-boyfriend used to say loads of things about the way i looked and i've got a big head and <laughs> all of these things that i've names and things that I have held on to for all this time 
And if we are holding on to these, I feel like I'm, an, I'm seeing like me carrying a rucksack with all of these, again, the bricks. And then when I go to do something, I'm taking the bricks out of my bag and I am putting up my own wall. I guess this also comes back to the self-sabotage. So the perfectionism, the self-sabotage, the self-worth, and the relationships, the relationships could be family, um, romantic relationships, friendships, anything, that all comes into this big ball of perfectionism. So they're all leading up to the perfectionism, right? And when I wanna do something, I'm grabbing my bricks out my bag and I'm building up my own wall, wanting to do something and I just can't get past it. And what is the root cause? What has happened in your childhood? Were you told that you were not good enough? Have you had situations, men or women, abandon you and made you realize that you are not good enough and now you feel like you, the only way of you being loved is to be perfect? Yeah. So having awareness around this would be a big first step in releasing. And right now I'm being called to do a light code transmission for this perfectionism, for the self-love and for the self-worth this big ball that i am talking about and the wall i'm gonna do we're gonna clear some junk okay we are gonna knock down this wall okay so if you just like to inhale inhale and exhale if you could just close your eyes now this will be a transmission to release any fears Release attachments and stop these subconscious loops that you keep on going on. So this will help, if possible, listen to it as many times as you like. Ayaki anayaka kayo turiata. Kiki asa kananayo tutua. Kiki asa kananayo tutua. Kiki atayo tuturiata. Yuturiaka kai. Releasing barriers. Releasing soul contracts. Relationships. Kiki atayo tutu. They are not in our highest good. Kiki asa kananayo tuturiata. Kiki asa kakayo tuturiaka kai. Tuturiaka kai. ドリアカカヨ。キキヤサカヨトトリアカカヨトトリアカカヨ。カカヨトオカヤタダヤナナヤトドリアカヤタダヤトドリアカヤタダヤトドリアカヤタダヤトドリアカヤタダヤトドリ
lifted into the s into spirit, highest council of divine court justice, sending all the love. Releasing and climbing to our highest timeline in accordance with our highest good and divine harmony for those beloved outcomes. Kiki, I release this perfectionism now. 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 Kiki, I sakanaya de laya to do the aka, getting bit by mosquitoes. Kiki, I sakanaya de lori a tayo, 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 lo, a tayo. This is. Ooh. Closing. Kiki, I naya kakaya to do the aka. Closing, closing, closing. And thank you again. If you'd like to like, comment, and subscribe, you are welcome to. There'll be more videos. Let me know what you think. Kia. Thank you.